Hello there guys, and welcome to some more Vaulters. Last time, uh, we didn't encounter any, well, editing issues, so, um, we are where we left off. And, uh, yeah, we still need to, uh, do some of the things regarding production. We have one temperate plan. Will it uh, actually help us a lot? Kinda. It's not the biggest, but uh, yeah, although I might actually want to go with something regarding production first. We have two sterile. So I'll go with AI labor and see afterwards. Should also well, focus on the eco habitats. Well, to be completely fair, I could uh, use dust to buy those things out. I'll see. Um, what else was there? I'm thinking about uh, maybe conquering Quadus, since we're at 99% and everyone's devoted. Uh, this could be good, because we have um, the resource. We're currently just getting 5 per turn, as opposed to the 15 of the purple one. So that might be something to look into. They were heading uh, over there. What about my other hero fleet? I think they should already be going towards... Or no? Huh. Now you're just chilling there because of the Kravers. Uh, you should actually... Go in there and... Uh, Attack Mazar. Although I'm not particularly sure. I mean, would it have taken uh, that long to go directly to it? Why did you take the portal? I don't know. We should do some production on uh, Origa. We just have one sterile. I'm gonna go with the deeper planet one. We could do eco habitats as well, but. Yeah, that can also kind of wait. Hum, do yell. This is a magical do yell. Yep. We could convert the production into science. Um, it's not a must at the moment. I'll start doing that the moment we uh, start researching. What you call it? The um. Uh, the end game tech. Actually, that might be a good idea to go with getting some more dust because it was dust I kind of wanted to focus on. I just I realized some of my fleets are just chilling without any real purpose. I should completely reinforce those guys so yeah that's kind of the plan I just need to figure out where my other uh, hero fleet was I think they were trying to use yeah this portal okay we'll use it also we have this fairing moving over there up oh, the game jumped a bit And, uh, oh yeah, this got over to Wrath. I'm thinking let's, um, let's throw some probes. Right. And send you over to Kraz. Hopefully they won't die. So it should be around Duse or Du Yell. Du Yell. Next turn, it's uh, going to get there. It is doing quite nicely. Um, fertile Temperate. Just one Fertile, but I'm going with um, the Research Cities and the Graviton Shielded. And hey, the F Reality Institute. We have quite a bit of antimatter. 
we're doing fine on that front. Yeah, at this point, this war with the Riftborn isn't going to go anywhere. And it's strange because their allies don't seem, you know, very prone on helping them. But I am way ahead of everyone else in terms of every everything, really. So, um, I'm not sure. I thought uh, this was supposed to be hard. Guess I underestimated my uh, utter genius. Strategic and tactical, haha. <laughs> or rather not. I really think, uh... So one of them's on Dorado. I think I should uh, build, like, a trading company here. Maybe. It's ideal, I think, to place them in richer systems. So maybe Grafias would be, uh... No. You're... We're very close to killing you, so, uh... You can imagine why I'm not, um, why I'm not gonna do that. So I think I'll build a trading company on here. Should get some more of that uh, blue cap mold. Yeah, let's also sell some of these some of these and then see about getting uh, blue cap mold 44 yeah benthic gems uh, started to pop in but it's a little late for that I guess also getting uh, lost cities Okay, so this reached uh, Batia, the other one should uh, reach it next turn, right? I should also upgrade this fleet, to be completely fair, I should completely renounce the, uh, the knives and the swords afterwards. But what to merge it with? Because... While we are getting dust, I'm not sure I want to build more ships at the moment, although it might be a good idea given that, you know, I don't think we're going to renounce war anytime soon. Now the point is, I think we could uh, introduce a new law now, but I'm going to wait until uh, the election passes. It's two turns, because if I introduce it now and it gets dead, I mean, it gets replaced or something, I won't uh, really benefit off it, now will I? No, the answer is no. Plus one resource generation on luxury resources. Uh, we completely forgot about those. Yeah, the point is we could actually build the Ministry of Truth somewhere. We now have enough. Also the Trade Clearing Bureau. That's uh, that's more like it. Although I would like to build it uh, in a place where it wouldn't take actual centuries to build. So Jovanus would be quite a good idea. Oh, we were looking at it, right? I'm gonna go with... Mm. I'm gonna go with the Trade Clearing Bureau first, and uh, I'll see afterwards. Quite a few temperate. That's such a nice effect. Yup, yup, yup. So this should be all, right? They're just chilling over that destroyed planet for some reason. It's not time to attack yet. It's good to see that the Unfallen are kind of expanding a bit. 
they were kind of boxed in for a while there. Uh, did you get to where you were going? Really? Okay. We did get the advanced Maggie laser. Basic Aegean slugs. Okay, do we have anything else? Ibony. Ibony seems to uh, give us some good stuff, so uh, let's go there. Um, since we got the advanced Maggie laser, let's see if we can't upgrade our longship energy again. So yeah, we're kind of using everything at this point. Um, that's the basic anti-gluon beam. Basic hell array laser. And the advanced railgun. So where is the Maggie laser? Uh, chances are it might have been an inferior. Oh, or no. It'll cost antimatter, but... That's 120. That's 136. Yeah. We're sticking with it. I think. It's actually a medium range weapon. Do I really need the beam? Um, kind of. Yeah, our dust, uh, our dust income is varying quite wildly from 400 to 55. Maybe because of all the uh, improvements. I imagine because I don't think the planet tracker is done. Also gonna take a bit of a hit when that comes around. Can't quite build it yet. And uh, by the looks of it, you can build more than just uh, one core cracker, which is good. I should also build the Ministry of Truth, but uh, we'll see. Fertile and Temperate. We have two Fertiles, so the adaptive uh, taxation systems would, uh, would actually kind of work wonders, I guess. Yeah, the Bean Counter. Of these uh, United Empire heroes is quite nice to have. It's really strange because it's uh, telling me that I'm only losing uh, dust into the military upkeep. Oh well. Stuff seems to be largely in order. The buildings are being built. So let's advance another turn. Election time, I think. Or maybe next time. Next turn. Yeah, they uh, restored Aldebaran. That's fair. Minus 40%. Oh yeah, improvement upkeep costs are slashed. We could go with that. Do I want to modernize this to level 4? Uh, kinda. Or not yet, rather. Well, Graphia seems to be under attack. Yep, 
Yeah, they're just going to uh, keep harassing me. I think we should be fine. Okay, what uh, what to do here? Hmm. That's actually a good uh, a good question. I think I'm going to uh, actually. Or no, let's um, let's try to do the interspecies cooperative thing. Although I'm not sure how uh, beneficial it will be. Yeah, let's see. So, uh, we're very projectile focused. We should, uh, easily get rid of them. And we're going to defend that Zosmanus, or rather, blockade. Okay. Let's see the exploration ships. Oh, they're home. Well, no. One of their planets is getting attacked, I guess. I'm thinking we should explore this and then uh, get away if we can. Well, we can't, apparently. So we might lose this, but we got a population of pilgrims. Which might get killed by the cravers. That's... Very, very likely, I guess. And the car is also under attack. We won't have that, will we? up I so hope they won't retreat mm. but it seems that uh, we still kind of destroyed them uh, do I want to upgrade this is it because of ownership yeah. Let's let's do it. Guess we should be fine with upgrading uh, those. Yeah, Quorum is pretty vulnerable, but we're not attacking that yet. What about Dorado? Um yeah, 78k, that's, that's... That's kind of a lot, to be completely honest and fair. I'm gonna go with the militarists. Let's actually give them a very strong boost. With the reinforced Imperial support. And they won! Okay. Analysis of an alien society is coupled with discussion with scouts and traders allows diplomats and psychologists to determine alien thought patterns, speech constructs, and ways to influence their behavior. So we can uh, convert industry to dust, I think. Let's see. Not about the command points. Uh, the answer them decree doesn't sound that good. Uh, we could go with the extra damage, but at the point, at this point, we are actually superior. We have the superior army. The larger hosts bill could be nice. I'm not sure I want to go with any of the. Uh, 
Yeah, these laws don't particularly seem to um to help us a whole lot. So we'll stick to our uh, current path and we're going to just leave that there. I don't think we'll be buying any ships anytime soon around uh, around here. So yeah, I won't be doing that. There is some antimatter which uh, we could need. And yeah, the thing is, we do have uh, one tiny. So let's build a lodestone link. I'm really just kind of doing this to get to just get something in the queue. Or we go to zero. Yes. I think upgrading it to level 2 for that uh, for that industry bonus is definitely a good idea. How about you leave uh, you leave your home your old home world alone? Misters. Hmm? Yeah, they seem to be uh, fairly, fairly ecstatic. So I built uh, something on here. Let's, uh, I don't know. Let's build the subsidiary. We should have two of them, right? Yeah, this is so, so foreign to me. Um, I'll build uh, the subsidiary here. And see how that turns out for me. What could we do on lores? Um, a lot of things as it stands. We're gonna queue those sciency type things up. Uh, the same would go or could go here. But we're starting off with uh, research habitats. Uh -huh. We'll look at the well-being foundation just to make sure that, you know, they're chill, that they like us. We should get some more blue cap mold. That's a constant, uh, that's a constant requirement, it seems. 24, bye. Okay. This might be still, yeah, it's still a bit expensive. Um, we're sieging Mazar. Virgo's gonna finish next turn. And we still got these dudes. They're harvesting us, actually. Wow. You bastards. Yeah, no. We won't have any of that, but I'll have to wait until next turn, I think. Or are they just pirates they paid to, uh, to annoy me? Kinda wish I paid more attention to what I found, okay. The expedition made uh, landfall days ago, but nothing has been heard since they entered a region of mild seismic activity on the second day. The electromagnetic analysis of the region suggests that their communication equipment should still be functional, so lack of contact is unlikely to have a technical cause. Well, what should you do? Stay loyal to the missing team and send another party down to investigate or keep everyone aboard and not expose them to unknown risks? You have a bad feeling about this. Um, 
Unknown Consequences or 75 Adamantium. Rename the Mayal system to Honor the Lost. Yeah, this does sound ominous and I need the Adamantium so I'm just going to uh, rename. Only a fool would repeat the same action and expect a different result. Without more information, mounting a rescue expedition would only jeopardize the lives of more of your people. It's an unpalatable truth, but sometimes exploring alien worlds is dangerous. The best you can do is honor the memories of those who were lost. Well, it's, it sure as hell didn't uh, rename it. Can we do that uh, manually? Oh yeah, I might actually have to do that manually. My owl. The lost dudes. Cool. Here stands the lost dudes. Dedicated to the heroism of fallen explorers. Okay. That's uh that's fair. And some uh, benthic gems. Did we find a planet? Yeah, we might have discovered one of the other Sophon planets, um, but shouldn't we have another fleet heading towards Fairing? Yeah, this one uh, kind of is. Okay. So then what do we do? Uh... Let's move into pirate land for now. Yeah, people here seem uh, to be fairly happy. Her curiosity discovered the analytical engine. Oh, it's this we found. Thought to rely on quantum entanglement effects for its function, the analytical engine is a vast one-off piece of endless technology the size of a small town. Utilizing remote sensors on expedition vessels, the engine somehow instantaneously extracts valuable dust production data from any explored curiosity sites, supplementing dust production in the system where the engine resides. Now the problem is, uh, not sure where we have a lot of curiosities. I reckon there we do have a system where that might go, but as to where it is, We'll have to figure that one out, won't we? I also need to queue some research. Uh, for the time being, uh... Duh, 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 duh. Let's go with this. Or no, rather. Microwave pipes. Sure. So, research. Um... The question is... Do I start going for the genius uh, of the Endless? I think so. 10 turns isn't bad, even without uh, doing the conversion. Where could we do that, though? Do yell, was it? Yeah. Let's sell 200 more. We could also sell some of these luxuries that we don't really need. 400. 100. 100. Okay. So I'm gonna expedite that. Um, and in we go to the next turn. So Do not press us too far. They're asking for our aid. We're gonna refuse this. 70 dust per turn isn't, uh, isn't really a tribute.
Yeah. So we got this up to level 2. Just one that's sterile. Let's give up some sciencey stuff since we're uh, being very scientific at the moment. And uh, I think I think this is uh, where we're going to leave it at for now. We should have the core cracker next turn, which might be cool. So um, yeah. Things are moving along quite nicely. So as always, uh, thanks for watching and uh, I hope to see you next time.